A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst mod. So last time we faced a massive horde knight. Um, and yeah, they did quite a bit of damage over there unfortunately to the ladder system. Yeah, for some reason the zombies love climbing the ladders but once they're like midway or halfway up all of a sudden they just start smacking the ladders. So we have to make all of those steel as soon as possible because that's 20,000 HP. I think, I think it gets like 5, right? Or is this 10? Yeah, this is 5. Steel is 20,000. That's way, way, way more powerful. We have a ton of zombies coming to say hello over here. Uh, yeah, I have everything in place where it's supposed to be over here. And then we have our arrows. We have steel arrows. I need to make more bolts. Unfortunately, those bolts are super, super expensive. Let's grab these quickly. We need to focus on quests, guys. We really seriously need that hazmat. The only way to really do it is doing all these infesteds, these ultra and super infesteds. And with the current level, <laughs> it's going to be a challenge, but it's going to be fun. So let's try it. Let me just see over here. This was not crafting. This was cooking. That. Thank you. No concrete over there. Nothing else over here. We already got the explosives that were inside of there. No food. Iron and clay. I need to make start making the steel things, but I think that's going to be over here. Yep, crow, no, steel arrowheads. That's what we need right now. Steel arrowhead mold. And then we're just going to need iron and clay, but the only problem is we need a ton of, to be able to make the bolt itself, we need a ton of scrap polymers, which we do have quite a bit of, so I wonder if I shouldn't just do that. Ammo parts. I need a steel part. Steel arrowhead. The first things first, we need to make ourselves the mold. Empty mold. The moment we have this, we'll be able to make ourselves steel arrow mold. So we just need the empty mold and this arrow over here. I didn't even have to take it. I keep forgetting that we have craft from container on this mod. And then craft that one. We have to go over here and put that in there. Yeah, it doesn't require the crucible like the rest. This we can actually put away for now. Okay, I'm probably going to have to put some more iron in there because we have quite a bit of clay but very little iron. The thing is, you can actually use pallets, but I don't know if I have pallets of iron yet. Let's pallets, pallets. We have pallets of stone. Let's see, pallets. Yeah, most of them are still locked, unfortunately, and out of mining volume 5. If we can get that, we can make pallets of iron. So you can put four, uh, four stacks of iron in the pallet. And instead of smel uh, smelting down only three, you can smell down 12 at a time. That's definitely going to help us out quite a bit. 10 minutes. I'm going to go max and then just go underneath 10 minutes. Like so, so it actually finishes. Okay, I want to get you the trader. I want to accept a new job if you haven't already. I'll have to uh, see if we did. With this, I need to probably fill my vehicle up with. And then we can make some concrete mix over here. Only seven, so yeah, we're short on the mix. Accelerator. Uh, we need bottles of acid, and to make acid, we need this over here. Bottle of acid. Yeah, we can actually make quite a few. That's eight minutes forty-two. Ooh, I'll put a stick in there. Otherwise, that's gonna be like a massive, massive waste. Wood, wood, wood. One, two, three, four, five. Should be enough. And then for now, I'm just going to put these away. Building supplies. Explosives. And boom. Yeah, it's more than enough. I just want to make sure that we actually have this acid. Now we don't have the murky water again. So the, uh, the things upstairs will have to replenish. We can fill up these jars. And I'm waiting for these to turn into murky water as they spoil. Do we have an... Oh, we had an XP elixir. I only leveled up one time during Horde Night, unfortunately. Technically... You can turn this water into filtered water, that's filtered water into coffee, and then the coffee you can make spoil for more murky water. For those of you uh, guys that don't want to hear the spoiler, skip ahead about 20 seconds. Basically, after we do this over here, you're going to get the final stand quest in the research desk. That one is going to have seven parts, and the reward's going to be unlocking the last slot, last row. So I can't wait for that. Great weather we've been having. Okay, so, um, let's go for, st uh, we need the bundles though. We have quite a bit of ammo, we just don't have the guns to fire them, so I'll go for steel. Jobs? 
See, these are tier 7 quests. Um, super infested, infested, super infested, ultra infested. Let's go for the ultra infested. It's going to be way, 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 way harder. But, yeah, you see, quest tier 4. But the quest itself is a tier 7. The POI is a tier 4. There's a really big mismatch in, like, the, the quests and POIs and stuff. And I think it might have to do with the update, or it might be in single player. Let me know if you guys are experiencing the same or not. Sometimes, even though it's like uh, ultra infested, you can just crouch through this place. But other times, you have a really bad problem. So look at this, for example. Now our game stage is 208. The moment I start this, game stage is 401. We have to be careful of Nemesis zombies spawning around us, and we have to be careful of all the zombies inside of here. I'm going to put the steel on. We're going to keep our shotgun at the ready. Oh, this does have... Yeah, you rad remover. Like I said, sometimes I'm able to completely stealth this. Other times, I don't know. Very, very quiet. We'll clear it out once again first, and then we'll loot this whole place and dismantle the whole place. Look at the amount of zombies outside. All of a sudden there, yeah, and these guys are... That dude technically I think counts as a terror. I want to make sure they don't interfere with this POI. But then again, now I'm using my steel bolts again, so I should probably not do that. If you can just get the... Oh, there's another terror flying around. That pipe bomber dude is seriously bad news. And it's so hard to hit as well. Trying to crouch as much as possible. The moment the crops and stuff start moving, it gets bad. And this fog really isn't helping us right now. Yo, where's all the zombies? I wonder if I'll be able to shoot from over here without drawing their attention. Okay, one more. Wait, there's another one of here. Or is that underneath us? The problem is, as soon as one wakes up, all of them wake up. I think that one dot is right underneath us, or right outside. I'm so tempted to loot the outside, or oh, to kill all the zombies outside so they don't interfere. Okay, so now we do Iron Arrow. Some of the zombie outside just woke up. That's messed up. Red dots are not moving yet. That's good for us. But red dots are here still somewhere. I have to make sure that we're able to make it out of here as soon as something goes wrong right now. Okay, so now we do Iron Arrow again. That red dot's bothering me. Is this a Wandering Horde right now? I need to make sure these guys don't bother us inside. Oh, that broke through. Okay, that's not good. Was that really making that much noise? I can't believe it. That bomber is still above us as well, so we have to be careful of him. As long as we don't wake up everyone. I'm also thinking 
of doing this more. It's just so much more clever doing it slowly but surely like this. And breaking uh, one block in so we can defend ourselves like this. That way if something happens we don't instantly just die. Sixteen areas left. That over there, yep, she's a lady. I'm hoping there's no floor that caves in over here. This floor looks so iffy. Okay, so steel bolt. The nice thing now is, since there's holes all over the place, we'll be able to escape a little bit easier. So I still have to be careful of like the cops and stuff. Okay, so there's going to be a zombie inside over there. Don't want to waste a steel bolt. Or a steel over here. Sometimes the, uh, this clear thingy just, uh, 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 just confuses me. Because basically, uh, sometimes it, it determines the amount of zombies left, and sometimes it determines the areas. It says clear areas, 15 left. But I don't know if it just depends on the quest or something, but sometimes I see people kill one zombie and that count goes down. It's not supposed to. I think we're supposed to go up now. Let's just stick to iron quickly. Be careful of all the nemesis zombies walking around. Okay. We came from upstairs, so... If you're supposed to follow like this, follow like this. Okay, now we go downstairs. Now it's going to get dangerous. I think just in case we're going to do this so we have a way to escape. Oh, Nemesis. Yeah, I knew there's going to be one. Technically, we should be able to kill it. And then we can get like a lot of XP. We can get the heart and stuff. But at the same time, it's super, super dangerous trying to kill that dude right now. I turn the lights off and just inch, 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 inch forward. We also have an airdrop that we can go for. If we can just get lucky and get the hazmat mask, everything will change. A few dots behind the counter. Quite a few dots behind the counter, actually. Holy crap, there's a lot of zombies right here. Nice. When I shot him now, just now, he moved over. Okay, now to get this one's right behind there. No more dots. See, it is areas. It's definitely areas because now all of a sudden it shows 14 after I killed how many zombies. I need to make sure I don't accidentally break this bow. I need to repair it. Yeah, let's just repair it now. I know it's dark every now and then, guys, but I want to make sure that I am able to just turn on and off if you really need to see some zombies. Nice. Hello, hello, hello. There's quite a few of you, actually. And most of them are weak, so I want to make sure we don't waste all our steel ones right now. All three dots over there. Ooh, okay, there's one around the corner over here, and one around the corner over there. It's so awesome that sometimes the hitbox, the fact that it doesn't catch those boxes over there is really awesome. That means the game has definitely improved a lot. Damn it. Man, the aiming is so fine, you have to be so careful. The downstairs is going to be a nightmare to clear through. Okay. Don't loot now, Jean. Do not loot now. 
said I'm going to do it later, so I'm going to do it later. Let me just also get my arrows back, please. Oh, only one got stuck. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping that the others that I missed with will also be there still. Okay, so sometimes there's loot, well, good loot over there. Other times it's just crappy, as you can see right now. And this is a really dangerous PI to do uh, this quest in. At least, should we need to, we can just run up, close this hatch, and shoot them down at their faces. But it's still super, super dangerous. In these tunnels, it's so easy to accidentally trigger a zombie to wake up. There's some radiators over there. Oh, look at all those dots. I wonder if it's going to be possible to get up a little bit. Still so many dots left. If I can... To try doing this. Hoping it doesn't make too much noise, but you can see there's some zombies sleeping around the corner over here. If I could take them down one at a time and then just focus on making the circle shrink more and more and more. This is a lumberjack. It just confuses me that this place hasn't woken up yet. But sometimes these super infested are uh, like very super super sensitive. But the moment I get close, like all the cops and stuff wake up. The fact that they haven't done so yet really bothers me. Please tell me I can shoot through the bed frame. Oh, all around the corner over here. There's another one back there. Do I take a chance? No. Oh, you can shoot through the bed frame. Nice. It's a shame you can't shoot through these. Do I take a chance and then I all wake up or not? <laughs> okay, now I need to just quickly do this. Oh, it's sitting right there. I wonder if it would make less sound if I were to rip off the boards. I'm just afraid that it makes that little bit too much noise. Just, just not enough space right now. See, as long as you can take down those, uh, the radiator ones with the steel bolts, you can swap to these weaker ones with us. Okay, uh, just get my arrows back, thank you. The downstairs is going to get really, really bad, because that's where all the traps are. It's going to be a super bad trap downstairs. I'm not really getting that many arrows back either. I need these bolts, man. They're my life. She is feral. A feral mommy. One left. Woohoo! Let's probably save some ammo. So I have the shotgun. I can easily shoot them with a shotgun, but the moment I start shooting over here, we're going to wake up everything down here. I should probably make a hole into the wall or something to defend myself. Okay, so, steel bolt. This is a really weird shot, so I'm hoping it works. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, he's still alive. There you go. Oh, hello. Did not see you. That could have ended really badly just now. The amount that we're going to have to backtrack now if this fails is just bad. Okay, there's going to be zombies around the corner over here. The one living room. And then the final... Oh no, is going to be that side. 
with all those dots. It's nice when they give you that first shot so nicely. Because then you're able to tell where all the other red dots are. The problem is you can't always tell what the angle is. This one's probably going to be right around the corner of here. Yeah. I'm still using the steel ones. They just use the iron ones for now. Nope. Steel ones. The rest are right around the corner. Oh, she almost protected his head. You have to be careful of stuff like that. That one's going to be... I don't know where that one is. Oh, it's a doctor dude over here. It's around the corner. Okay, so yeah, this room's a little bit easier than I thought it's going to be. Let's just quickly loot this while we're down here. Food and drinks doing fine at the moment. And this place is nerve-wracking. Just the amount of resources you can get from this place alone is also insane. I can't wait to start looting this. Should probably just at least loot the bookcase to see if there's anything good over here. Nope. I'm really hoping that infested cash has the hazmat piece. That or at least the airdrop. What they could do to be nasty is put zombies right here. So the problem we are going to face right now is all the zombies are going to wake up. They usually do. I'll put some steel bolts. I don't know how this one usually works, but it's like a trigger, I think. Look at all those dots. At least it seems this side's clear. I think all those dots are the ones upstairs. I hope. Okay, we can make some irons. Let's just do this. Nope, these dots are all the ones down here with us. Damn. Damn. That is a lot, a lot of zombies. Still three dots of here. This is the first time I'm doing this place and not getting immediately charged, which means this is at least doing a proper stealth. Just the biker left. If I could have, I would have uh, liked to stand right here for a nice thumbnail, but that would have been just way too dangerous. <laughs> Okay, so sometimes there's a delay in picking up arrows, so you have to spam E on them just to hope to actually get it. I wonder if there's a way to take this lady, this one over here, out of the game, because I think she's limiting my ads at the moment on all my videos. Even though she's not technically naked, she has a, a wet t-shirt on, I don't think the game actually knows that. Or a YouTube, I don't think YouTube knows that, uh, that. they think that it's a naked lady. Okay, so this is going to be a tough one again. Is that a zombie over there? No. I need to get one kill. So I can see the dots. In the bathrooms, there's going to be zombies. So they haven't woken up yet now. The, uh, to the left and to the right, there's a bathroom. I'm hoping going for these two won't wake up the bathroom right now. That is the biker. His body is so nicely protected over there as well. So I have to go this way around. Hope the bathroom doesn't wake up. Oh, it's radiated by... Okay, yeah, let's just do this. He's one of the tougher ones.
See how many shots it took just now to take him down. Oh, the nemesis is close by. It's starting to heat up over here. Now, the final uh, uh, dash is going to be over there. The final defense. And that's where it's usually insanely difficult. So, I have to be so careful right now. One more dot. I hate this overheating effect of the nemesis zombie. Imagine you made it in, I don't, just don't realize it. Don't tell me the top is woken up. Come on, smack that door. Okay. There's one area left, so there should be no zombies on this side up here. Damn, the nemesis is super close by, so he's gonna start overheating us like crazy. Yep, they're to the left of here, to our, uh, to our upstairs. Which means this side we should be safe. Okay, I need to kill that dude over there. Hey, look at all those dots back there. Damn. Usually there's some zombies and stuff over here as well, but it seems this time it's all over there. And with the amount of zombies uh, at the moment, I don't know, they're hiding behind pallets and stuff, so this is going to be difficult. At least I have the steel bolts. So I can try and get some, like, sneaky, deaky shots off. Oh, what I might be able to do... What if we do this? Man, I'm overheating so badly, Nemesis. Uh-oh. As long as there's no cop. No cop, no cop, no cop. These are steel bolts, so I'm wasting them right now, but it's rather wasting them than letting a cop or something kill me. Stand still, stand still, stand still, stand still, stand still. There you go. There you go. Nice. Okay, so these dots have woken up slightly. Oh, where's that tourist dude? I was about to say, where is he? Uh, I might be able to jump down because the other dots haven't woken up yet. Nice, nice, nice. It doesn't seem like the other dots woke up, so we should be fine. Yeah, they're not moving at the moment. Imagine they're all moving, but they're moving in such a diagonal way that I'm not noticing them. I want to make sure I just quickly grab all of this. Check the bookcases, and then on the way out, I'm going to wrench and scrap everything. There's two. There's about eight zombies left. It's not too bad. I'm wondering if I can actually jump over and stealth them. Or if they're going to wake up the moment I try and do so. Okay, let's see. There's a zombie at the back over there. There's two actually. I can see the leg every now and then sticking out. The Tom Clark. Okay, I'm going to jump, and I'm going to stand still and see what happens. Still another dot back there. Which one? I think it might be upstairs. Nope, 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 not. It is not... The problem right now is I'm using up all my steel bolts, but I have to. There's no way to get to all of these zombies without really using up all my bolts.
Okay, there's a few left. There's two left. As soon as I do this, the heat should disappear because I think the Nemesis zombie is also going to disappear on us. And then Iron Bolt. Okay. Now where is that ultra infested cache? I'm hoping all of it's together over here. What's this? Infested cache. It must be this then. Uh, put the right glasses on. Please, 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 please. I need a hazmat mask. Pants. Damn it. I need to go for that airdrop as well. I hope for the best over there. The nemesis zombie has not disappeared. So we might have to attack it. At least the nemesis zombie isn't that tough. So it should be fine. Ooh, first try. Nice. But seriously though, guys. The fact that only the mask is keeping us back right now. We have so many copies of all the others, except for the mask. I'm hoping we start getting lucky with our, our airdrops. You know, I saw TBF Gaming, the moment he got his, he got like three hazmat pieces and one airdrop. So if we can get that lucky, that's going to be awesome. Okay, I need to now go and quickly just clear this place. I'm going to grab all the resources and then, yeah, I'll get you guys back if something dangerous or bad happens. Problem is, where is he? Uh, is this concrete? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna make a little, a little bit of a hole over here so we can see where the nemesis is. Unfortunately, there's no tracking option, and yeah, even though we're overheating, we don't see him. Come on, in you go. Not this side. Is he on the other side then? He definitely is over here somewhere because we're still overheating. It still shows signs of a nemesis on me. It'd actually help us a lot if he was actually to try and break through over here. The problem is I really don't want him being able to see us before we see him. Which is why I'm actually trying to break this instead of just opening up a door. We're still overheating at the moment just because of that one nemesis effect. I mean, we are in a really bad biome at the moment, but still. Okay, so... That means the fact that this resets day 66 means we face the day 63 horde. Put the right glasses on for Here's double rewards. Reward. Um, yeah. All of this sucks. Um, we'll take some 9 mil ammo. We actually ran out of ammo. Any more jobs? Super infested. Infested, clear, super infected. We'll have to go for all of these super ones. It's way more dangerous, but at the same time, if we can clear them, hopefully the rewards will be great. It's a shame you can't just buy the pieces you need. Okay, he definitely reset. Uh, let me just sell all this. Not really much that I can sell. How much coin do we have? 6k. I definitely need some oil for the bike, and then I have to come back over here and buy some more stuff. Well, those springs? Yeah, we have springs, but I want more. I need more. Cobble as well. Uh, let's see, what can I sell to him? I need cobble, man. I need cobble. I need everything that I can get right now. I want to get. Okay. I'll just do the quick episode. Yeah, I'm going to go back, back to the base and just drop everything off. Next time we have to go for that airdrop and we have to just keep questing. And I hopefully we soon get lucky and get that mask. Because at the moment, this whole series is on standstill because of that one little mask. But yeah, if you guys liked this episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please want to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my seminars that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.